to the word of the day by Pastor Victor Kako. Praise the Lord for the loved ones of God. This is Pastor Victor Kakonge. How are you? How is your day? I believe I have a word from the Lord for you. You're going to be blessed in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I'll be in the book of 1 Samuel chapter 30, reading from verse 6. I read, Now David was greatly distressed, for the people spoke of stoning him. Because the souls of all people were grieved, every man for his daughters and his son. But David strengthened himself in God, his Lord. When David was distressed, what did he do? The Bible said that he strengthened himself in the Lord, his God. When people were conspiring to stone David, to kill David, what did he do? David strengthened himself in God, his Lord. Not in his riches, not in the people, not, not in anything that he had. But he strengthened himself in God, not in the money. He strengthened himself in God, not in his fame. He strengthened him, himself in God, not in his family. My brothers and sisters, in this very chapter, when you read from verse 1, you could see that the Amalekites came in the city called Ziglag and they invaded the city. They ambushed the city. They took all the people of David. They took the people who were in the city. All the people, they took sons, daughter, from young to old were taken by the Amalekites and they made sure that these Amalekites, they burned the city. The city was burnt by the Amalekites. When David, when they came back, because they were not in the city at that very time when the city was put on fire, when they came back from their journey with, with, with his men, the Bible said that they found the city when it was burnt down. The Bible said that they cried, they wept. Until they had no power to cry no more. I don't know what is that problem that has ambushed you. I don't know what is making you to cry. I don't know what you're facing right now. I don't know what you're facing from the beginning of this week or the beginning of this year or the beginning of this day. I don't know what you're going through right now. I don't know what kind of problem you're facing. Maybe in health. Maybe it is in your marriage. Maybe in your children. I don't know exactly what you're facing. Maybe you're jobless. Maybe you've lost something. Maybe you've lost a beloved one. Maybe you've, you, you've lost that someone who's dear to you or you've lost your job or maybe it is debt that is displaced that is that is distressing you i don't know exactly what is giving you stress i don't know what is making you to be stressed but i'm here to give you good news you need to strengthen yourself in the lord your god this is what david did david strengthened himself in the lord and as he did this the Bible tells me down in other verses that he recovered all. He recovered all the people who were taken by the Amalekites. He recovered them. He recovered his wife that who were taken. All the people who were taken by the Amalekites. David recovered them all. Why? Because he strengthened himself in the Lord. How can you strengthen yourself? in the Lord. This is how you strengthen yourself in the Lord, by reading the word of God, by reading the word of God and apply it in your life, apply it in that situation that you're going through. For example, when we read this verse that says, by the stripes of Jesus Christ, I'm healed. Anyone who is sick, when you apply that verse in your condition, in your life, and you meditate in it and you trust what God said by the stripes of Jesus you were healed. I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, you will be set free by that word that you have used. Reflect the word of God in the condition that you're going through. Reflect the word of God in your life. It will produce result for you. That is the way how you can strengthen yourself in the Lord. Let me pray for someone who's watching me right now. Heavenly Father, I pray for every person under the sound of my voice. Heavenly Father, meet them at their point of need. Heavenly Father, take away what 
whatever that has been going on in their lives, Heavenly Father, every problem that has caused stress in their lives, this is the right time. This is the time, Heavenly Father. Let it cease. Let it stop. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, my brothers and sisters, strengthen yourself. When the Bible says strengthen yourself, it means when depression comes, when you're stressed, you are weak. Problems makes a person to be weak. Now you need to be strengthened. And the only way to be strengthened by using, applying the word of God in your situation. I love you. This is Pastor Victor Kakongem. Stay blessed. Please continue to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Victor Kakonge Ministry. And follow us on our Facebook page, Victor Kakonge Ministry. I love you. Until another day. Stay blessed. Shalom.